Hey there, Bare Knuckle News fans. I am behind the scenes with Chris Lieben. Chris, an amazing fight. How do you feel, sir? I feel pretty good. Uh, last one, so it's a little bittersweet, but, you know, I feel good. It went good. I got hit with some good shots and uh, ended up putting him down, so it's exactly what I wanted. Did you think when Henry got hit in the eye that it should have been ruled a foul? Well, it was the knuckle right there that, uh, that did the damage. Um, I think they were talking about an eye poke at first. I'm not sure. I know the ref was starting to break it. Um, I mean, obviously, I didn't intentionally hit him after, after he's starting to break it. I'm in the middle of a fight, you know. Uh, protect yourself at all times. Were you surprised he came back with such aggression? No. That's Quentin Henry, you know, and that's why I wanted to fight that guy. Um, I've seen him get dropped before and come back and swing like hell and end up knocking his opponent out. So I, I actually, I knew he was going to come back. He was going to be more dangerous when he got up. Is this really the end for you, Chris? We're going to be very sad if it is. As far as competition goes, it is. Uh, as far as combat sports goes, I'm not going back to school anytime soon, so you guys are going to see me around. Uh, hopefully be working for the Bare Knuckle organization, you know, as well as coaching and refing and various other facets of the sport. Uh, but yeah, I'm, metaphorically, I'm taking the gloves off. I know we don't wear them anymore, but it's over. Before we go tonight, this is a historic moment. Would you like to give a shout out to anybody? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Boardwalk and Genesis right here, my, my sponsors, uh, recovery centers, everybody knows my story. Uh, drugs and alcohol ended up cutting my career short and my health. Um, ultimately, I was able to get sober, get healthy, come back, compete in bare knuckle. I had four fights and uh, three of them were first round knockouts. So anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You certainly did it tonight. It's been a pleasure and an honor to see you and watch you in combat sports. Chris Lieben.